In 2006, I met a young mother named Julia who was nearly homeless. She had an asthma attack and collapsed in my front yard holding her toddler. At that time, she had no hope, but that accidental meeting changed the direction of her life and mine. Over the next couple of years, with the help of others and God's divine guidance, I walked alongside Julia and taught her to help herself, and now she is thriving. As I was completing seminary, I felt called to do for others what God had taught me to do for Julia. And in 2009, Brevard Rescue Mission was born. What I've learned through the years is that we are all in need of grace. And the stories that belong to the women who come through our doors are all stories of grace, of the lost becoming found. I grew up in a home, my father was in active addiction when I was growing up and my mom is, she has some mental issues. So growing up that was normal for me and we struggled. And I ended up picking up my own habit as I got older and um, it just completely spiraled my life out of control. I lost my children to the state and I was just completely at rock bottom. I lost everything. I lived in a car for close to a year, almost a year, just sleeping in Sunrail parking lots and jumping in pools to get a shower, you know. So um, it was rough. I was in a, an abusive marriage um, and got out of that. And then by that time I had three children. And because of that, uh, daycare was um, $2,000 a month for me for three children, so that was my whole salary that month. So I was stuck living at home with my mom. I think I really had a sense of, um, I can do it myself, um, and that really didn't go too well for me. So a lot of different choices, uh, getting pregnant uh, with my third child. I really didn't know what my next step was gonna be. I moved from place to place. I was pregnant with my son under um, a freeway pass, underneath a bridge. I received my miracle coming here. I think the cycle of abuse and um, insecurity and instability, drugs, I think it's broken. Like all my stress is gone, I feel at peace. Before BRM, I really closed my heart out to God and I just, I was done because so many things had happened and I was just over it. And to come here and see all the generosity, I mean just nameless people, the things that they've done for my kids and myself is just, it's mind blowing. To being here has helped open my eyes and be able to actually have an actual relationship with my son, not just worry about bills and where we're gonna sleep the next night. I am so much stronger than I ever knew and it just took like the support that I have here to realize that. I can hold my head up because I know I'm doing what I should be doing at this point and I have the love and support of this place and my family and it's just, it's amazing. It is through grace that lives are healed, hope is found, chains are broken, and lives are transformed. It is by grace that a stranger becomes the inspiration for a ministry to break the cycle of homelessness for other women with children. And it is because of grace that our hearts answer the call to care for the broken, the vulnerable, and the hurting. Reflecting over the past 10 years, I could never have imagined that Brevard Rescue Mission would be where it is today. That one moment of grace between strangers has led to the healing of so many women and has offered new life to their children. As I look back on all the lives touched since that first encounter, I have seen God's amazing grace in the small and large moments. I've seen formerly homeless kids put together a lemonade stand and moms learn to sew. Several kids of our graduates that have come through our program are now in college. And more than 100 families have changed directions from lost to found. And now, as we enter our second decade, new housing expansions are going to provide the way to reach out to even more women and children, transforming generations. This is truly amazing grace. Thank you for helping us extend that grace.